Instead of standing up to book bans, having a zero tolerance policy, making it very clear that no matter what these legislations say, we are going to allow diverse books. What Scholastic Books has decided to do is they separate all of the BIPOC and LGBTQ books into a separate excludable box that is not offered to the children unless you opt in. The share every story, celebrate every voice box is by default excluded from the book fairs. Librarians have to opt in to receive these titles. Naturally, they recognize how effed up this is, and they're doing their very best to make as little fanfare for this press release as possible. We know that they know how Twitter works. They know how to add a photo to Twitter. They do it all the time. But for this press release, because they don't want anyone to see what they've done, a bit.ly link that automatically is not going to have any sort of image attached, no image on the actual press release to draw as few eyes as possible. This is so incredibly disappointing. And yes, while there is still the opt-in, the option does technically still exist. Librarians are calling it the bigot button. Because as they say in this press release, essentially summarized, there's a lot of lawsuits and you could potentially lose your job, but if you really, really want to include it, we guess we'll separate them out and give you the option to, to opt in. I guess. But do so at your own peril because people are getting sued and losing their jobs. This is the most spineless way to stand up to hatred and bigotry I have seen. Excluding the boxes from the book fair that have queer books and then have BIPOC books is so effed up. Making the default that people would have this information excluded from their lives, potentially life-saving materials for these kids. I am so disappointed.